Today we're going to be step-by-step -step drawing a misty forest using a digital drawing technique. A great activity for any artist who's beginning to work with digital drawing. Before we get started, I want to show you a painting by Caspar David Friedrich, The Wonder Above the Sea of Fog, painted in 1818. This painting is an awesome example of atmospheric perspective, which is how the atmosphere affects how we see objects as they recede. Notice in the painting that things that are up close are detailed and saturated, and they get less detailed, blurry, and less saturated as they go back to the distance. So for this activity, you're gonna be using a very similar technique of atmospheric perspective. We're going to be using a digital drawing program called Klecky.com. It's free and it's web-based, but you can use any other program that you'd like. I definitely recommend that it has the capability to do layers. So we're first going to add a layer, and we're going to rename that our ground layer. I'm going to go to my brush tool and pick this forest green and create strips of value that get lighter as they go back. I'm gonna do this to about two thirds up on the canvas. And then I'm gonna go to edit and blur, um, play with my radius to get the blur that I want. I'm gonna do about 50 so that I still see a little bit of that strip. Then I'm gonna add another layer and rename this layer back trees. These are going to be my trees way off in the distance. Using my eye droplet tool, I'm going to choose that less saturated color off in the distance. Now these trees are going to be fairly simplified, fairly small. They're going to be on the upper half of the drawing. With this, you want to explore different sizes of your brush to get the details that you want. You can also explore opacity. I like to create some of these little branches that come off the tree. As you're working, feel free to zoom in to areas to really refine those details. But remember, off in the distance, a lot less detailed than up in the front. Feel free to add as many trees as you'd like if you want more of a cluttered look or if you want a little bit more of that white space, you can explore the amount of trees that you add in. I darkened my value a bit and added some of that to the very base of the trees just to define that edge. Don't worry if your trees aren't perfectly straight. Some of that curve adds some personality and contour to your drawing that makes it a little more interesting. I'm gonna add another layer and call this mid trees. And for the color, I'm going to use my eye droplet and sample that middle tone there. Now these next set of trees are going to layer over top of my back trees. Again, they're going to be a little bit bigger, a little more detailed, and a little more saturated. The overlapping looks really cool, so don't worry if those trees cross over with the trees in the back. That adds a really nice sense of space in your drawing. Notice that these trees are kind of on the midline of my drawing. I'm gonna add a little bit of darker value to the base of the trees as well just to define the edge of where the tree meets the ground. I 
Uh, if you haven't done a save break at this point, go ahead and do that. Make sure you're saving your work frequently. File save on Klecky if you're using Klecky. I've had really awesome drawings that got completely lost because I had a technical issue. So always save your work frequently. All right, I'm gonna add my last layer, which is gonna be my front trees. And I'm gonna use my eye droplet tool to sample that nice dark forest green. Now my trees up in the front are gonna be the largest and the darkest and the most detailed. If you'd like, you can look up reference photos just to see the, sh the shape and structure of trees in the forest. These trees are going to be on the bottom third of my canvas. Some of them can even go outside of your canvas a bit, their starting points. Again, just like we did with the mid trees, um, don't stress over things overlapping. That is a really great technique to create space. So let things overlap and don't worry about that. Your values are going to help to distinguish the different shapes. Friendly reminder that you can be zooming in on these tiny branches and be sure to play around with the sizes of your brush to create finer details. go ahead and use a really dark black to create some finer details in these trees up front. A little bit of dark shadow that creates some of the bark of the tree. You can see that I'm using uh, more blending with this brush. But I'm going to darken the base of the tree just to help distinguish where that starting point is. And again, to create some of that linear bark, give a little detail. If you haven't taken a save break, go ahead and do it again. Now the very last thing I want to do on this drawing is create completely black trees all the way at the front. Um, to, to create a little bit of a border. If you'd like, you can also draw in some branches that have fallen on the ground. Using the same technique, things up front are gonna be more saturated and darker, and then maybe less detail and less saturated as you get further to the back. Maybe you add in a silhouette, silhouetted figure somewhere in your forest, or a little bit of shadows being cast from the trees. So feel free to experiment how you can break away from this concept to create your own original ideas. Awesome. Once you're done, you're going to go to file and save your work. I hope you found this video tutorial to be helpful. 
Feel free to subscribe for more videos from Make-A-Mark Studios, helping you to make your mark through art.